Hi, this is Char from The Real Kitchen for Real People. I hope everyone is doing well and staying safe. This morning I got up, I wanted uh, some biscuits, but uh, I always use the Pioneer baking mix. It's easy, simple, and they are delicious. So in this bowl, I have a cup and a half of the baking mix. And then I'm just gonna add the milk uh, to the consistency. It's probably gonna be about a half a cup. Okay, I added about three fourths cup of milk to a cup of the baking mix. And the great thing about this baking mix, you can also make pancakes with it, waffles. I've been using it for years and it is wonderful. So this morning we're gonna have uh, some biscuits. It's not a lot, because we it's just for two people. So this is the consistency you would have when you add your uh, three-fourths cup of milk to your cup of mix. And then you roll this onto your flour. Okay, and just make a ball onto that. And I'll show you that in a minute. Here's your ball. And now I'm just gonna flatten it out with my hand about where it's about uh, that thick because I don't want it real thin I want fluffy biscuits okay then I'm going to take my paper biscuit cutter and cut it'll probably make me about three or four okay I'm going to lightly spray my pan and I'm just using this round uh, cake pan because I don't have that many biscuits but you can, if you're going to go by the full recipe there on the back of the Pioneer Baking Mix box. And they are delicious. So, I'm going to cut my biscuits and put them in here. And then I'll place them in the oven. I'll show you the placement. Hold on. Now, I want to take a cookie, a uh, biscuit cutter or cookie cutter. I have a small one and you want to flour it down pretty good and then you just cut your biscuits just mash them down don't twist it and then they'll come up like that then you place them in your pan okay here's the biscuits after they've been cut I changed the size instead of using the large biscuit cutter I used the tiny one so I got was able to get uh, 11 in this pan this is a the leftover one that we like at the end so this is what they'll look like when you put them in your lightly greased pan and be sure when you're cutting them to make sure your uh, biscuit cutter cookie cutter is uh, floured each time you cut that'll keep it from sticking okay I'm gonna place these in a uh, 400 degree oven and I'll return okay I want to clarify something when you put it in the oven at 400 degrees you um, bake that for about 11 to 13 minutes until it's lightly brown on the top and then in the meantime, while that's baking, you're going to put in a bowl a tablespoon of butter and a teaspoon of honey. And we're going to melt this. So when they come out hot, you're going to brush the biscuits with it. So I'll show you that. Okay, here are my biscuits, lightly brown. So now I'm gonna uh, brush them with the melted butter and honey. And then what I'll do is put them back in there for about two more minutes after I do this. So 
some people would put the butter on there before they put the biscuits in the oven, but to me it makes it a little soggy. And I don't want soggy biscuits. Then when they you put them back in for about two or three more minutes, then when they come back out, you can put the remaining butter mixture on top of that. I'm going to put them back in there for another two to three minutes. Okay, here they are after the butter uh, on them. Now I want to put the remaining butter mixture on them. And then they'll be ready to serve. <coughs> Remember, this is the baking mix I use. And they turn out perfect every time. Okay, here's the plate. Ready to go to the table to eat. Be sure to try these. They are delicious. You can make pancakes, like I said, waffles, or biscuits. And the recipes are on the back. So, if you like this, be sure to thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And if you have a comment or question, please comment below. And have a blessed, safe day.